Hello and welcome to a short tutorial about redox reaction with me, Lukas Kuszynski. In the inorganic chemistry, it is important to know how to solute a redox reaction by using ionic equation. For this knowledge, you need to make electron half equations. Any redox reaction is made up of the electron half equation. There are two kinds of electron half equation. The oxidation process is happening when electrons are lost and when electrons are gained, a reduction happens. The half equation has to be balanced correctly. You are allowed to add electrons, hydrogen ions, unless the reaction is under alkaline conditions, in which case you can add hydroxide ions instead, or oxygen. To get the ionic equation you are searching for, you have to combine the half reactions, oxidation and reduction process. Typically, instruction of half equation is to balance the atoms apart from oxygen and hydrogen, balance the oxygens by adding water molecules, balance the hydrogens by adding hydrogen ions, balance the charges by adding electrons. So our task today is to complete and balance the flowing half reaction. In each case we have to indicate whether the half reaction is an oxidation or a reduction. The definition of redox reaction is the measure of the degree of oxidation from an atom in a substance. Fluorine in the periodic system with minus one oxidation state is the highest electronegative element. Hydrogen has plus one. And oxygen has different states of oxidation. Normal, he has minus two. In peroxides, he has minus one and plus two in oxygen defluorides. Our first example is dichromate who reacts to chromium. At first we look at which oxidation state dichromate has. So we look at the oxygen who is minus two. We have oxygen seven times that makes minus 13 plus plus 2 because of the high minus 2. We get minus 12. If you divide it with 2, you get minus 6. So we have the oxidation state plus 6. Plus 6 to plus 3 has a difference of 3 electrons. We have dichromate who gets to chromine, so we have take two times three electrons to make from a dichromate to a chromium. Here we have our first reduction. For the uh, oxygen, we need uh, 14 hydrogen ions to make 7 water and now we have the product uh, the uh, ionic ionic equation dichromate 6 oxide reacts with 14 uh, hydrogen ions and six electrons to two chromine three and seven water. The next example is the oxidation of manganese to manganate oxide. Uh, manganese has the oxidation state of plus two and the manganese has the oxis oxidation state because of 4 oxygen um, plus 7 that means oxygen has minus 2 
that four times, that makes minus eight, plus one we have minus seven, the opposite is plus seven. From plus two to plus seven we need five electrons, we need uh, four times water to make uh, to make four oxygen plus eight hydrogen ions. Our next example has iodine, who, which is oxidate to iodate oxide. The iodine is elemental, and so he has the oxidate oxidation state of zero. The iodate in iodate oxide has an oxidation state of 5, so we have a difference of 5 electrons. We need it 2 times, so we have 2 times free oxygen, so we need 4, four times more hydrogen ions. That means six hydrogen ions to make six water. So we have a reaction of iodine with six water to make two iodate oxide ions plus 12 water, uh, hydrogen ions and 10 electrons. In the next example, we have another elemental. It calls sulfur. It has the oxidation state like uh, like iodine, zero, and we make sulfuric acid. That is a reduction, because we have sulfur as elemental zero to sulfuric acid, which has minus two oxidation state. So we need two electrons. We need two hydrogen ions too to make the sulfuric acid. That makes a end reaction, a redox end reaction of sulfur plus two hydrogen ions plus two electrons reacts to sulfuric acid. Next example is to make from nitrate in a reduction nitrogen dioxide. The nitrogen in nitrate has minus 2 plus 3, that means minus 6, plus 1, that is minus 5, the opposite is plus 5. So the nitrogen in nitrate has plus 5. The nitrogen and nitrogen dioxide has minus 2 plus uh, 2 times that's minus 4 Ma plus 1 is minus 3 the opposite is plus 3 so the nitrogen and nitrogen dioxide has plus 3. From 5 to 3 there are Gain two electrons, it's a reduction. From uh, free, free oxide to two oxide, we need one water. The result is a di uh, oxide two plus two hydrox hydroxides ions. The, the reaction is nitrate plus water plus two electrons. You get nitrogen dioxide plus two hydroxide ions. The last equation that we make here is the reduction of hydrogen peroxide to hydroxide. You have to keep attention because the oxygen and peroxide has minus one. So when we look at the atoms in hydrogen peroxide, the oxygen has minus one 
and the hydrogen has plus two. The atoms in the hydroxide has uh, the hydrogen has plus one, and the oxygen has normal minus two. So from the oxidation state of of oxygen and hydrogen peroxide is minus one to minus two oxidation state and the hydroxide we need one electron because we have two uh, two hydrogen in two ox uh, oxygen and hydrogen peroxide we need two electrons and that's all at the end we have a reaction of hydrogen peroxide which uh, which which is which with two electron makes hydroxides two hydroxides that's all so thank you for listening and I wish that you understand redox reactions now a little bit more.